Hey guys and welcome to another Polymer's Lay tutorial. Today we are going to create the volcano from Fortnite Season 8 with 4 pounds of clay. Four pounds of clay that doesn't really fit onto my plate, my regular one. You asked a lot and I am happy to fulfill this request to create the volcano from Fortnite in Season 8 because I love this place so much. I had just this little problem that if I would keep my scale from all the other map pieces I created this would be a really huge tutorial and well maybe this is also <clears throat> This is the explanation why this video is a bit late. I'm sorry for the delay that it's already Saturday and not Friday. <laughs> but we will have a lot of fun while creating, while preparing um, the plate and also... Oh, look, the iPad. No! <clears throat> sorry, tablet, no brands. While creating the volcano, and I thought this would be funny, we will play a little game. You know the game The Floor is Lava, it's an old game everyone knows, still fun to play. Oops, a little bit of glue. And in the course of this video I will say things like, your chair is lava! And then you have three seconds to react, three seconds to avoid touching it. If you succeed, you get a point each time. Count your points at the end of this video and post your points in the comments with the hashtag LavaChallenge5, for example. First one to achieve all of the Lava Challenges in my video will get a heart and will be mentioned in the next video. <clears throat> Let's make a test. Your chair is lava! Three seconds to jump off. Okay, time's over. As I can't see you right now, it's all about trust. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> well, but um, I trust you. So, let's jump in. Let's have a regular video and don't forget about the challenge. I tried to get this creation as lightweight as possible, although we used that much clay. This is why I brought in two, pla two plates and the cup right in the middle so that it would be um, well not solid but empty after oven hardening uh, let's let's make the edge and mix the brown of the volcano of the crater cra crater of the volcano itself sometimes I get the message or the question why is it so hard to mix the clay well, it's also really hard for me to mix the clay. It doesn't really look like that because it's, well, time-lapse video in my tutorials. But I can tell you from experience that it gets um, easier. The more minutes you are into the mixing process, it gets softer and easier to mix. And a brown piece of clay like this, you have just seen, this also takes me like 5 or 10 minutes to, to mix, so just don't give up and try to, to get the clay really soft while mixing. And maybe um, do the same technique um, I did by using a knife and cut it into tinier pieces, so mixing gets a bit easier from the beginning. So the volcano itself contains of different colors. We have the ochre and bright brown at the bottom, the dark brown in the middle, which is also called chocolate, and the black brown. Here you can see the video I made from a replay. It looks really dark, but after oven hardening, all the clay colors will also get a little bit darker. This is, uh, why it is why it looks a bit different right now. Plus, the bright brown on the bottom will be covered with green, with grass. So don't forget that. When you look into the yeah, into this gap from the volcano, you see a little bit uh, the the lava shining. It's red, and also the yellow lava river coming out of the volcano. And I tried to accomplish it by using yellow clay, 
but we will use um, some acrylic paint after oven hardening. I thought it would be better to get really shiny and bright colors. Okay, are you ready? Your shoes are lava! Ah! <laughs> Let's go on. If you succeeded and you accomplished putting out your shoes in three seconds, well, let me tell you, I'm really impressed. <laughs> you have achieved one point. Now let's go on with the creation. The lava flow itself contains of different layers. It's black underneath, then we have the yellow and some spots. These are the islands, you know these. Um, some containers are on them and also one of the geyser. Is it called like that? The hole in the ground where a water fountain is coming out of. So this is the opening of the volcano because it's way more smaller than we created the mountain of the volcano, but that's all right. Here you can see that it's only really a part of the top of this volcano mountain. And let's try to get a sharp edge right at the top of our vol volcano and maybe make it even a little bit more narrow that looks good and then we can work on some details with the scalpel somehow this was really fun to create all these cracks in the crater and there are two holes on each side left and right well and we have the huge gap in the front part this is on the left side of the volcano on the back side there's no opening. Well, you, you have the, um, the way up to the crater itself. This is green. I took four times darker green and one time this is apple green. And I didn't mix it that strong so that you can still see some lines of the bright green to make it look a little bit more organic. I really love that. And now we can start decorating all the landscape. Boy, this is so much clay. <laughs> yeah, while creating, I was a bit frightened that it would be too much, that it would crack open in the oven, for example. This happened before mm, with a lot of clay or something, something different would went wrong, <laughs> would go wrong. So let's try to get this into shape. Also the connecting point of the grass to the volcano itself. Here you can see this spot right around the volcano. Ah, it already looks quite interesting. I really like it. Well, the, the most challenging part of this creation was to get all the, the tiny, tiny hills on the, to the right position. Because on these hills are the different buildings, are the unique and different trees, and all the ways and path, paths <laughs> on, on this map um, also depend on the hills. So this was really important. Now I try to get the way up to the opening of the volcano, right? And it goes right down there. And then we have second way up to this point. And the last time you turn right, and then you have this spot. It looks a little bit like a springboard um, in swimming pools. <laughs> and we have a chest right onto it, but we will create that later. I take my toothbrush, my beloved toothbrush, <laughs> mm, to get a really nice texture for the grass. And now we start preparing the first building, which is the old tower, the damaged tower. And there's a rock underneath. Here you can see it right on top. And I just mixed uh, a little darker gray, so it's not the dolphin gray you get out of the box. And just mix it with uh, using a little bit of black. 
these are all the bricks inside the tower and now we will destroy it just gently a little bit to get this atmosphere and the feeling i really love that on on top of this tower are these broken walls with the flowers it looks really what's the right word fairy tale a paper clip we use this for the flag, but we will add that after oven hardening. This is the balcony, which goes around, and this was a bit tricky to get it right. Here you can see the dam or the bridge, whatever this is. The lava is floating in, and we will cover the hills on top with green grass and there later there will be some trees there's another hill right there yeah this is quite important because uh, we need to get all the the ways right so let's make a comparison maybe this bit a little bit longer and then we can go on i was looking forward to that the tomato temple yeah, you asked me to, to do a tutorial on this place. Well, now you, you get two tutorials in one, the volcano and the tomato temple. <laughs> it was really difficult to create because I didn't know um, where to put all the stairs and where to cut. But with the replay in Fortnite, yeah, some of, some of you tried to play with me in Fortnite and I was uh, just jumping to the volcano and was running around like crazy to get really good footage and then i ended up using only my replay <laughs> yeah this is the the change i made to the tomato tomato head skin probably you have seen that video yeah luigi <laughs> i love that guy plays the head right on top and now the next building. This is the third one. This is the temple. Yeah, maybe you have some background information on this building or what's it about. It looks uh, like the pieces, the, the huge city, which is called Sunny Steps. It's the same design. And it's, it feels like an ancient cult cult culture and they went up on top of the volcano to build this building to be really near to their gods the fire god probably yeah, this is a funny face right on the building i was really sorry that um, i had to create it in such a small scale because i really love this building with the face right on top I also skipped the face on the other side, so I just only made one one face. And there are these different points and the chest, of course, on the on the springboard. And there's another piece, building piece of Sunny Steps, right there. And the dragon, the mouth wide open, and then on the left side of it, we have a little campsite right there with a tent and we even have um, a further camping site and all these geysers the water fountains there's even there are even different ones right in the middle of the lava on these islands i think in total eight eight of them you can use to get up with your glider i enjoyed it <laughs> while recording for this video. If you want to add me, just look for a clay claim on Fortnite. There's only one guy with, with the name clay claim. This is a little campfire right in the middle. And now I try to get all these ways on to the right position. Some of these ways will be covered by trees. Your phone is lava! One, two, three. <laughs> I really hope that nobody dropped his phone. <laughs> Probably no one is playing my stupid game. <clears throat> no, it's it's fun. So, let's go on. 
The important spots are finished and we can add all the details, well some ways, some paths for example and also the containers on the huge island in the middle. Well it's not really an island but well you, you get me. And there's another water fountain and let's make um, all the, the grass a little bit more dark and dirty where it gets in touch with the lava. And this is the truck which is lying right behind Tomato Town, uh, Temple. Sorry. And there's another van lying right there. I think this is the first time I really try to be as accurate as possible and to get all the positions of each tree right. Well, you, you can write in the comments if I forgot one tree, but I think I really got all of them. Yes, all of them. Well, all the ones which are uh, located on my part of the map I created. Maybe they, have, uh, they are a little bit smaller or bigger. This was just too crazy to be that accurate and I don't really care <laughs> to pine trees. Let's make some, some plays for the plate. Yeah, he's, um, the, the plate is still playing an important role in this video. <laughs> yeah, you can see the trees, the shape of the trees on the blueprint on the map. I just printed out. And I try to get some more texture into the trees and we will even add a dark green with acrylic paint that took a while <laughs> i think they look nice maybe we can make them a little bit more bended and whoa that's heavy let's go into the oven freshly baked volcano and we try to remove it from the plate whoa. This is so heavy and still hot. It's really hot. Maybe we can remove the plates underneath. Yo, <laughs> it looks so funny from underneath. Now let's take the plate with all the trees and we will glue them onto all the trunks. Let's look for the super glue <laughs> and take only the nice ones for the front. There are some ugly trees, we will hide them, <laughs> but not for Tomato Temple. Yeah, maybe we take the scissors, let's place them, and the last one, and now this is some acrylic paint. Well, the lava contains of three different colors. We have the dark red for the edge, then some orange, and the finish with bright lemon yellow. So I really try to get a lot of yellow into the creation that it's glowing. The lava is really glowing. Now some green, this is oil of green. And while preparing the wool, <clears throat> are you prepared? Every food and every drink is lava! <laughs> Now I can see all the bananas on the ground. Yeah, maybe I played a little bit too much of Mario Kart. This is the flag and now the last working step. We try to get the clouds right around and that's it! The volcano! And tomato temple. Wait, before today's video is over and before I read any comments like you forgot the ice cream truck. No, I didn't. Because I have one ice cream truck on the Paradise Palms, we can remove and we can glue it right into the scenery right next to Tomato Temple. I guess that's... Wait, the floor is lava. Oh, oh. Yeah, don't judge. These are my pajamas. It's quite late.